Here we have some more word problems that involve systems of equations. In this one we have concentration problems, uh, mixing liquids of various concentrations, and also an investment problem. And I'll show you how, how these work. The first one says how much water must be mixed with six pints of a solution that is 50% developer to produce a mixture that is 17% developer. Now, whenever you see a, a concentra percent concentration problem like this, the basic formula is going to be amount times concentration of the first liquid plus the amount times the concentration of the second liquid that you're adding it to is it going to equal the total amount times the total concentration. So whatever you can fit into that form and then solve for, that's the way to approach this. Now what we have here to start with is six pints at a 50% concentration. So the amount is six, the concentration is 50%, but we'll convert that to a decimal, so 0 0.5, six times 0 0.5, plus, and what we're adding is pure water. The concentration of developer in that water is zero. So you're adding some amount of, of water that we don't know, and you're going to multiply that by zero. So you can see that term's going to disappear. And, and then we have to figure out our total amount and our total concentration. We know our total concentration, we want it to be 17%, so 0.17. What is our total amount? Well, we started with six pints, and we're adding X amount of water. So this is just going to be six plus X. So let's do some math here. Um, 6 times 0 0.5, that's 3. This x times 0 is just 0, so we can forget about that. And we'll multiply the 0.17 through here. So 0.17 times 6 is 1.02, and then times x, so 0.17x. We'll subtract 1.02 from both sides. We get 1.98. And then we're going to have to divide by 0.17. And what you come up with there, I think, is 11.65. And that is pints that we were in. So that's how much water must be added. So that's a concentration problem. Let's look at this next one. And in this one, all we have to do is set it up correctly. We don't actually have to crunch through the numbers. This is a situation where um, someone invests a total amount of money in two different accounts and they have different interest rates, different yields. So one account yields 7% simple interest and the other 8% simple interest. And you'd like to find the amount placed in each account if a total of $897.30 is the interest received after one year. So his bank is paying him that every year. He knows he put in $11,623 to begin with, but he's not sure how much he split into each account. So, the first equation you're going to write here is the, the money he put into the first account plus the money he put into the second account is going to add up to 11623 The other equation you're going to write has to do with the interest. So the interest on the first account is 7%, so 0 0.07 times x, plus the interest on the second account, which would be 0 0.08 times y, is going to add up to his interest income, so 897 dollars and 30 cents. Uh. So those are the two equations and all we have to do here is pick the right uh, the right set of equations and it looks like B is going to be our answer. If you wanted to go ahead and solve this what I'd probably do is subtract Y from both sides of this first one to solve it for X and then pop that in here um, in here uh, and do the substitution method. So that's a little bit of work with uh, investment problems and concentration problems.